Now, if these algorithms and recipe are really important, then we convert them into law. And we, call, we actually talk about the code of law. You know, you code it up, you write some code. Well, you write the code of law. A code of law is a systematic collection of statutes. And that goes back to, well, it's 2000 BC. So that's four, over 4,000 years ago, where we already coded. Well, what we coded was not digital code. What we coded was the code of law. And that is the code which is really important we're supposed to live by. If in this society that has these certain laws, you don't apply to these algorithms, they will take you out and put you in prison until you then come back because that's how we compute. It would be disturbing if you don't comply. You know, you disturb our collective computation in here. So that's why we write up this code of law. And you can look at it, this code of law. I mean, one of the most important codes of law that you can never escape is taxes. As they say, only two things are certain in life, that's death and taxes. So that's a very important, one of the oldest laws. What we did here is we took a tax code and it was still pretty simple from the 1930s. What this describes here in this English language is how when you pay taxes, you declare a dependent. A dependent is kind of like if you have a child or an elderly you take care of and you're kind of like part of your tax declaration. And then you, uh, you go by an algorithm. If the person is under 18 years old, then da -da -da. if then else, if then else. And you compute at the end if this person is a dependent by the code of law or not. Now, in the 1990s, and 1999, Professor Lawrence Lessing wrote a very interesting book that he called Code is Law. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess Code is Law and the Code of Law is Code. Yeah, absolutely, Code is Law. In this very important book, what we do there is we basically algorithmatize these kind of processes. And you can think about it. So here I have the tax process of declaring a dependent. What we did then is we looked at some tax software it's TurboTax and Tax Act, and we looked at all of them, and, and we looked basically, how does the software basically implement the same process? And the process is actually quite similar. It's a, it's a little different, and you can then see how, when you algorithmatize analog processes, how they change once they're in digital format. 